Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ani here from the learning class. Today's video is about how to change the admin email in WordPress. We're going to learn how do you change your email from the file manager in cPanel. Okay, so let's quickly get into it. Now, as you can see, this is the WordPress dashboard of your website. Uh, my website name is uh, assistance. Okay. So if you're going to try and change the admin email, you click on the right hand side, top right hand side, click on edit profile. And then you scroll down and this is the email that you want to change. Now, sometimes when you try to change from here, it does not work. And therefore, it is a great idea to do it from the uh, cPanel file manager. OK, so we're going to go to the cpanel so i'm going to close this window uh, this is my namecheap hosting account uh, the website is in this hosting so i'm just going to click on cpanel now cpanel looks pretty much same you might be with godaddy you might be with bluehost or you might be with namecheap the cpanel looks pretty similar as you can see on your screen right now okay so we're going to scroll down to file manager click on file manager and we also going to scroll down and click on PHP my admin. This is under database. So just click that. OK, now look for your website. So my website name is assistance. OK. Uh, so the file, you know, the website is already there. Now we go to our uh, PHP my admin and I'm going to look for my website name and straight away i can see here the website name now sometimes keep in mind sometimes you might not have the website name you will just have this kind of numbers okay so this does not really tell you which website you are in right so for that you can just click this uh, let me have a look okay Clickify. Okay, so let's say I want, you know, I want to change the admin for this one, <clears throat> sales and marketing agency. As you can see here, it's not there, sales and marketing agency, but actually, it's there, but it's with a number. So to find the the config number, we have to click on the website, go down, and then you can see here wp config right so click that the file will open so open the file and scroll down and here you can see wp triple nine right so you're going to come here go back to your php admin and then you can see wp triple nine so this is just two ways of finding your exact uh, admin right uh, if your website name is there in my case it's already there assistant so that's great but in case it's not there and you see these numbers now you know how to get the exact website okay so uh, we're going to click on uh, assistance here because this website is already there so i'm just going to click that and now you will see this whole bunch of uh, data click on just scroll down you can see users so click on users when you click on users you will see something like this okay so i've got this extra thing which i don't need i'm just going to delete this one okay so we're going to use uh this entry so just click on edit and as you can see once you click edit you will see the email here right so we can check it you see this email is the same as here okay so i'm not gonna just put a sample email and we'll see if that worked i'm just gonna put abc abc at gmail.com okay once you enter your email scroll down and just click go okay and now it should be done we can go back to our wordpress dashboard i'm just going to try to refresh it 
and hopefully it's done you can see the email has been changed so that's it very very simple very easy in case you cannot change your email from the wordpress backend you can now do it from your c panel i hope you enjoyed the video please do consider subscribing liking thank you very much and see you in the next video